anime stands out as one of the best and most well-written characters in the Spartaki series and its dedicated fandom. Many of us frequently wished that he had a longer run in the series, but as is the fate of all champions, he too had his downfall. Now I want to go back all the way to the first introduction of animes not in Bloods and Sand, but in Gods of the Arena. Even though Gods of the Arena was made after Bloods and Sand, I want to start from zero, where Animaeus was yet a gladiator. So, we were first introduced to Animaeus as a gladiator, as the concept of Doctori had not yet been established for him. In Gods of the Arena, Animaeus had already fought formidable opponents, including the legendary Theocles. However, he was still a gladiator, far from his eventual role as a Doctori. Animaeus' original Doctori, Ulpius, was still in charge, and the Ludis, Gladiatorial school was in its early stages under the rule of Bariatus. Animaeus' earlier days in the pits of the underworld were revealed in the second season, Vengeance. He was initially purchased by Bariatus' father and eventually rose to become a champion of the house of Bariatus. Despite his seemingly frail frame, he displayed remarkable talent, which likely prompted Bariatus' father to acquire him. He even fought opponents three times the size of him within the pits of the underworld, and thus was able to survive for quite some time without actually having learned any swordsmanship or anything of that kind. Up until his battle with Theocles, Animaeus was the reigning champion. This clash, however, would cost him his title, even though he put up an eighth inspiring fight against the giant opponent. Theocles though not yet retired and actively participating in arena battles for entertainment, ultimately sparred and maze, impressed by his unwavering will and dedication. This encounter, while establishing Animaze's reputation as the man who defined death, left him feeling like he had lost. With Ganicus waiting in the wings, Animaze was eventually succeeded as the champion. Animaze, eager for another chance in the arena, was instead promoted to the position of Doctori, the role which we were originally introduced to him in Bloods and Sand. Initially, he faced resistance and skepticism from the gladiators, as his leadership marked a significant shift from the previous Doctori, Ulpius. However, Animes eventually earned their respect with a little bit of force. During his tenure as Doctori, Animaeus demonstrated his prowess by easily defeating seasoned gladiators like Crixus and Spartacus, even when they were at their peak, except for Spartacus, because he was yet not nowhere near his peak, yet Crixus was at his peak, peak, basically. Some might argue that Spartacus may have distracted Crixus, and thus this was the reason why he lost, but there is little doubt that Animaeus was in a league of his own showcasing that he could easily take on Crixus during that time should it even be a one-on-one -on -one battle. Animaeus' time as Doctori continued until the ends of Bloods and Sand. He had vowed to confront Asher regarding Barca's disappearance, an event in which Asher played a role. This confrontation did happen, but Asher narrowly escaped Animaeus' wrath. These events forced Animaeus to re-evaluate his life, and after everything that happened in the Ludis and at the end in Bloods and Sand. He returned to the brutal world of the gladiatorial pits, unsure that he has a place anywhere else, after all which happened, where there were no winners, only survivors. Unfortunately, Asher captured him and handed him over to Glaba for interrogation, and Amaze was slated to fight his own brother, Ganicus, in the arena, and learned some specters of the past because of Asher which were not welcoming news, obviously. Learning of Ganicus' betrayal through Asher, Animaeus harbored a desire for vengeance. However, the arena collapsed during their battle, leaving Animaeus severely injured. Upon his recovery, Animaeus recognized the value in Spartacus' cause, which he despised at first, despite his initial reservations about Spartacus himself. He came to understand the corruption inherent in the system under Bariatus' rule and slavery as a whole. As Animaeus joined Spartacus' group, he shared his martial arts and swordsmanship knowledge with the new recruits. Gradually, trust was rebuilt between Animaeus and Ganicus. 
And Mace's downfall came when he faced the formidable Egyptian, a rival equal to most champions in terms of skill, as showcased. In his weakened state, Anamaze was overpowered and injured, but Ganicus came to his rescue. Because Anamaze had been tortured beforehand, whilst also having fought in the pits of the underworld before his capture and torturement, as well as the arena having fallen down upon him whilst he still sustained his injuries from his previous torture. So he was yet not fully regained and had to face an opponent as formidable as the Egyptian, which is not a good combo. Animes and Ganicus, along with others, confronted the Egyptian in a 2 vs 1 battle, it initially being only Egyptian vs Animes and Ganicus. Tragically, Animes met his demise at the hands of the Egyptian. In a fit of rage, Ganicus avenged his brother's death. Animes' final words were a message of forgiveness and freedom for Ganicus for everything that happened in the past with Melita and Ganicus. There was even a scene in Gods of the Arena before Bariatus interrupted their speech that Animes questioned why Melita was within Ganicus' cell that night with the cup of wine and that it didn't make much sense to him why she would take that, that she's no thief. And this, of course, would have led Animes to the truth that day had it not been for Bariatus' interruption. Anyways. In the end, Animes' death marked the end of an era, and Ganicus found closure and liberation from the shadows of the past. Later, when Ganicus was captured in war, he saw Animes as a tribute to his fallen brother, and let out a final scream in the arena. Looking back, Animes' journey was one of rise and fall, from a champion in the arena to a respected doctori. His story is a testament to his exceptional skills, unwavering dedication and the enduring bonds forged in the harsh world of gladiators. It's tantalizing to wonder what might have happened had he possessed the doctorian knowledge while still in the arena, perhaps even surpassing Theocles himself with his doctorian knowledge whilst at the same time having fought in the arena and not just teaching. Animes left an incredible mark as the Doctori for champions like Ganicus, Spartacus, Crixus, Barca, and Agron. His enduring legacy is not just in his fights, but in the friendships and alliances he formed, even with Spartacus himself. In the world of Spartacus, Animes was the man who defied death, and his story will be remembered as one of bravery and resilience in the arena. And the only man to have ever faced the true shadow of death in a one versus one and survive.